All right, all right, all right, all right. Setting up your meeting for Facebook Live. Oh, oh, it says we are streaming live on Facebook. Okay, right. here we go. I'm setting Bye. up your meeting. All right, it's been a month. Okay, everybody. Yo, 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 tell me what you know. Welcome to the Sunshine Show. There it is. She's back, baby. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We have the one and only, the most fabulous, the most amazing, the most beautifully talented, one of a all kind. Right. Here we go again. The most Bowie of them all, Megan Richardson <laughs> in the house. What's up, girl? Hello, people. What's up? So glad you're all here. It's time to party. Sunshine is back. How's it going, girl? It's been a while since the last time we caught up. I feel like it's maybe been like seven months since our last interview. Yeah, at least. We have. I'm glad, man. I missed you. I am so happy to be back. Thank you for hanging out. We have uh, me, mom, mama can too here as a co host. Hey, everybody. Uh, last yesterday was her birthday. She turned 61, was born in 1961, and had a beautiful boy, uh, boyfriend. Right, yeah. <laughs> you birthday. wish. Say, her birthday, Meg, on 2 22 Now, this is going to be a good year. In 1961, awesome. she turned 61, right? You, girl, you know it's going to be good. <laughs> I'm all about the numbers. That is so good. <laughs> That's good signs. Yeah. So, for me. <laughs> so we had a really good time yesterday celebrating yeah. Mima's birthday. Um, and I'm just really excited to get into it tonight. You guys, thank you all for hanging out. Let's see who's in the comments. We got Jake Schwartz in the house. What's up, Janet? Chris Luna, Melissa, what's up, girl? We got Margie, we got David, we got Mar Hill, we got Eric, we got the whole fam bam. It's who we got. Yeah, fam bam right there, man. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Keep it okay. Going. <laughs> so if you guys missed our last interview, you guys are in for a treat tonight. Uh, we won't be recreating that entire interview but you will see bits and pieces of <laughs> bits and pieces scattered throughout <laughs> what's up mark leblanc what's up Weege? oh the boys are in town hey mark and Weege, what up uh, so we just get the swear jar ready so you guys anytime yes, you hear do. a um a cuss word tonight, we are going to donate a dollar to the Knoll Family Foundation. At the end of the interview, those will be counted and that donation will be sent out in support of our beautiful familia that we always represent and support here at the Sunshine Show. So let's keep those guys right. in town. Send those money <laughs> somewhere else. Hey, anybody notice my uh, t-shirt? Mr. Ma's got the weed shirt on. That's a weed t-shirt if I've ever seen one. Man, I export it real good, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, uh, Scotty Boots? Uh, so Jake Schwartz says, be in the house. Jake Schwartz says, fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> That's five. Is Lindsay here for the count? Because we need Lindsay for the count. <laughs> oh, shit. That is $5. I don't do, I don't do math. That's not my thing. Oh, I said it goes. Um, all right, then we got a fuck it and a fuck yeah. Bring, keep bringing them fucks. Fuck, fuck, fuck me, fuck. Um, if any of my uh, preschool parents are watching, make sure the kids are in bed because this is like parental advisory, just a little bit. PG 13. <laughs> um, <laughs> the content. um, I apologize. Hey, right, put, the, put the kids to bed. What time is it in Ohio? It is 10.07 here. Uh, well, the kids should definitely be in bed to get enough rest for school in the morning. My kids wake up, they might come say hi, little sleepy babies. <laughs> <laughs> um you guys i'm so happy to be back with you all uh what's up chris luna donating that's so fucking cool <laughs> we got K kylan what's up girl we got jesse um so meg talk to me tell me what you've been up to since the last time we were together my goodness i'm trying to think of what was going on last time i feel like I had just released Vacation Motor. I was like about to. 
Um, so that was fun. It was really cool to release my first baby that was all mine with the help of my awesome team, of course. Um, so if you have not checked out vacation mode and you are in this chat, get on that. If somebody could like go drop a Spotify link, do that right now. Um, it's a good tune. I really like it. I wrote it like right out of when like COVID was starting to wind down at the end of 2020 and people were like kind of getting out in the fall and I was going to Florida and we had like just booked the ticket and I was like, I just went and sat and wrote a song and it was one of those quick ones that happened in like 11 minutes and you know, those like really fast ones are good. So it was, a, it was a fun one to do and it was super fun to release and it's gotten a lot of great feedback. And so it's one that I'm proud of. Um, and now it's like, I don't want to like uh, release anything that is, I don't know. I want to live up to that. So I've been super picky about getting new stuff out there, but my focus right now is really on collabs. Um, cool. So I'll be working on some solo stuff for sure. Like we just sending me some tracks that he's produced that I can sing on, but um, um, we'll get that stuff out soon. I did release another single on Halloween with um, a local Cincinnati musician, Eric Souter. Uh, he goes by Ricky in the wild and we did a really fun collab. He pretty much produced the whole thing. I kind of just like laid my verse down, but um, he's awesome. And check that one out too. It's called do or die. I really like it. So be on the lookout for some new stuff. I'm going to be playing out in Cincinnati a lot this year, but also traveling a little bit with Neej, um, especially like I'm excited for the Montana gig in June at Cove Light Showcase. So that's going to be fun. Awesome. Um, Cool, cool. All right, let's look at these comments. We have a lot of people hanging out with us tonight. You guys, thank you so much. Drop those cuss words in the comments so that we can get those donations up for the Noel Family Foundation. Bradley's birthday was actually yesterday, the same as mom's. Um, so happy birthday, Bradley Noel. This is going out to you. Uh, we have Don McDaniel says, comments don't meet Facebook guidelines and community standards. Do they ever, Don? Do they ever? <laughs> What are those community standards? What the heck? <laughs> standards, love it. <laughs> yeah. We got Tyler Pearson, my old ass is staying up to support that nine to five life. Hey, 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 Tyler. He's one of the people I'm working on some collabs with. He is awesome. Very cool. We got Eddie. What's up, Eddie? Man, I met Eddie at a deadhead bar when I was on tour in Colorado. And let me tell you, Eddie is the man for all your graphic design needs. Uh, we got Lisa in the chat. Margie, we love you. We are so glad you're here with us. Um, who else? What we got the whole fan fam. I just don't even know what to say. Eric and Kaylin and Jake, thanks for dropping those links. I appreciate it. Yeah, Luigi, I was just about to say, make sure you drop the link for tickets to that Montana show. It's going to be awesome. Hell yeah. Um, thanks I everybody for coming. My goodness, it's been a while. I was so excited for Sunshine to come on back. And uh, the, uh, Megan, that she was saying the first thing today, she said something about the cuss words. And I said, but isn't there going to be a children? So she goes, mom, it's going to be this late. I said, I know, but she's a kindergarten teacher or something. I was, we were laughing about that, and then you just brought it up. I think it's a hilarious. What a family. We are. It's nothing they haven't heard before. Yeah. They all, and you know what? They know I'm real, and that is all that matters. It's all that matters, ooh, girlfriend. Ooh, we're real ooh, proud ooh, of you, girl, ooh, for ooh. doing what you're doing. We're all, this world is, this whole community is so proud of you, girl. You just, oh, I love you, fam. That is awesome. Love you. Um, so thank you guys for being here. We do have some giveaways tonight to celebrate. <laughs> I'm very excited. You guys, yesterday was actually the two year anniversary of Sunshine and the Bass Kids. If you guys are not a part of this group, please join today. Hey. Um, so in honor of that, also, Dawn, if you could share this into Sunshine and the Bass Kids, if you haven't already, that'd be awesome. So tonight, if you guys stick around, we have these amazing Lemmy socks, okay? Handmade by yours truly. This is a size extra large. So you gotta have some big old feet to fill these, okay? <laughs> I have really big feet. So if I win that, I won't be mad. I got some <laughs> sunshine socks, okay? Pray to your holy Mary mother of sunshine here, size medium, <laughs> size medium. 
Um, and then we got a bunch of socks. Uh, we also have um, a one hour voice lesson that Megan was so kind to donate for tonight. Um, so you guys stick around for all this really cool stuff that we have coming on. We have a lot of fun surprises and it is a party. Get your snacks. Get and your Jay, and Jay is in the chat now too. <laughs> so what? it's gonna be a party. Oh, it is the, it's the ultimate party when uh, speak. It's a um, go buy his album, by the way. Jay, speak the rebel. You need to drop your link for your album. He just released a full length and it is so good. And just follow him for like a fun time. He's really funny and he posts the sexiest selfies of himself, you know? I, he is one of my favorite human beings. And I have to say like, just in general, thank you for all that you do because I've met and connected with so many people because of your existence and your community and your talents. And like Jay, I watched him on the Sunshine Show in preparation for my interview with you last time. And I remember getting on and watching and like, hmm, what is this guy all about? And then I was like texting Weege, like you have got to get on and watch this guy. Like, I don't know what's happening, but he is wild. And then I realized like, okay, this is like a shtick, like he's doing a thing. And when I then when I got to know him afterwards, I'm like, this guy's so freaking awesome. We've become dear friends and I call him my work husband now. So thank you. <laughs> he, you know, he is a whole vibe. He is a whole vibe that uh, speak the rebel. Um, he's one of my favorites. He actually did a music video and he was wearing a shirt with my face on it. Although my, my face was covered with a mask. Um, but that is me in that music video. Uh, Jay, please drop the link in the comments so everybody can go check that out after the show, after the show. Okay. Okay. Uh, everybody, please share this. Let's get this going. This party is just starting. We got Mama Can too. We got surprises. We got all kind of fun shit. Yeah, when she says oh. she has a bunch of other socks, she just has a bag of plain socks that she's just going to get away. They don't even have no pictures or nothing on there. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then also, in case you guys didn't know, my mother is also, uh, besides a Mima and the best mother of all time, she is a psychic. They do call her Psychic Sandy. Oh, yeah. So tonight and only tonight, if you guys need some yeah. shit foretold oh. in your future, drop it in the comments. Psych psychic Sandy will give you a reading free of charge, you guys. Okay, this is only yeah. brought to you oh, from the Sunshine no Show. Free of charge, nothing there. Uh, you're going to be paying for that. Sunshine Show exclusive. This, uh, this, uh, this so come free. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Scotty Brown, my sexy muffin, my spicy fajita. He, <laughs> he wants to know when do we get some new music, Megan? So um, I don't know if I'm supposed to, I guess it's okay to mention it, just not play it. But we and I and another special guest, maybe Rob D from Part One Tribe, are doing this song. And I'm super stoked about it. And I just sent the final vocals to Weege, which is what he was waiting on. He's got to clean some things up. But it's this really cool song that I hope gets released soon. We were talking like end of March, early April, ideally. I don't know. Um, it's called Just a Moment. So be on the lookout for that. I'm super stoked about that. Um, I have some songs in the works, like maybe a whole EP with Tyler Person, who's hanging out in the chat. He goes by Snug It Loose. He's done a real, drop some of your links, Tyler, because he did this, one of my favorites is called Road Trip, and it's with Joe Samba, and it sounds really awesome. So I'm excited to be working with him. And then Brendan Kay out of Nashville, he and I have a song um, called The Right Way coming out in like, we're just waiting on Mark to maybe finish up drums. And then, um, then that'll be out. So I'm thinking like at least three singles coming out in the next two months. So hang on tight, Scott. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking, you sexy blueberry muffin. Hey, Megan, can you play us just a little bit of the one you were talking about that you released since the last time we've seen you? Oh, yeah, the, one, the one I released on Halloween. Yeah. Do we do we want some Megan Richardson yeah. music right yeah. now, guys? Yeah, me mom says, yeah, I do. Mama can too says, I think right. I do. Psychic yeah. Sandy, she wants <laughs> what Sandy wants. So we so we give her what she you. wants around here, because if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to hear you some music of yours because you're beautiful. Oh, you're so sweet. 
All right, so this one's called Do or Die. I released this one um, with Eric Souter. He goes by Ricky in the Wild. He's local here in Cincinnati. He's actually super freaking local for me. I live in a suburb of Cincinnati on the Kentucky side, and he literally lives like six doors down. So he's actually my neighbor. <laughs> very, very talented musician. And uh, I'm going to be singing his rap part. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Let's do it. No judgment. No, ma'am. You on the other side, but I can't get outside my mind. I'm waiting on a breakthrough. We're running out of time now, it's do or die. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. I see you on the other side. Can't get outside of my mind. I'm waiting on a breakthrough. We're running out of time now. It's do or die. I've been drunk since shit. I can't remember stumbling through life. Send my regards to my liver. Realize that when you make it, you miss the struggle. So my restlessness put me on the path of self destruction. I get ambitious, make a plan and list it subsequently. Then I almost follow through on my commitments. Got to use it. Check a box. I've been sitting and smoking and scrolling, hoping for some motivation, hoping I can find a way to break through this. Only problem is I keep prioritizing the wrong things, searching for that good time again. So I escape to elevate, try to create. Too much pressure, it got me, got me shot to the next day. So much to do, and I'd rather just chill, but I'm going to chase it till I get my fill. Let's go. I see you on the other side. right now yes it is you can go check it out if someone wants to like drop that link below so people can go stream that add it to a playlist oh, yeah. um get it going get it popping drop that Smells link and let's whoa it's like drink. a breath challenge i like <sighs> gotta get the lungs moving <laughs> that is awesome thank you so much for that yeah let me go through some of these comments now i know what's up jesse she says happy belated uh birthday sandy you're very well you're i mean thank you very much you're very well it says if you tag megan on facebook in this live it should notify all of her friends and followers okay Weech, thank oh, you how do better, i do that let me i can post it um, ma, ma, so oh, Leaf Arrow says, Le yes, we see it. He says, <laughs> I need my future told to me. Please, Sandy. What's his sign? What's your sign, Leaf? Drop your sign in the comments so that Psychic Sandy can give you a little reading. So Jay wanted me to ask you about the remix of Vacation Mode. <laughs> Is that <a> <laughs> Jay, oh my God. So one time, I'll never forget this probably in my whole life. I was just getting ready, going somewhere. And uh, I think we were like about to drop the kids off at grandma's and like go day drinking. I don't know. And he sent me, he was just in this goofy mood. And so he sends me this voice. <laughs> I'm going to die. I wish I had it. I'm sure I do somewhere. But he sent me a voice memo. He redid vacation mode, like on the fly with all of these freaking crazy lyrics that like I cannot repeat online but um it was really really awesome <laughs> I was 
he actually has a really big talent for like doing that for any song ever obviously but he um it was a good it was a good it was a good version of vacation when it was very accurate like he didn't even know me then and the things he was singing about I was like yep that's me that's hilarious you can be perfectly <laughs> <laughs> you described a day in the life very cool all right Chris Luna I see you as soon as psychic Sandy gets back we'll drop your love reading uh and then one more for Paco we need to know our good things in the future well old psychic Sandy ran off who knows where she went but she'll be back soon fuck yes Rob is a legend says Scotty Brown and we're talking about Rob D from part one tribe he is a part of the fam bam. Gotta love him. Gotta love him. What's up, Susan Lane? We love you, girl. Um, Susan, do you know how to do you know how to tag me like in your Facebook link? Um, let me see if I can edit it on the fly right now. I can tag you. So let me see if I can do that. Um, let us see. Yeah, I think I can. Let me see. Shoot, do, 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 do. Uh, let's see i'm trying to do this so what's everybody doing oh my god chris is a pisces we love pisces here um i'm trying to see uh i'm trying to tag old megan richardson everybody please share 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 i shared it to my wall but like i think that if uh it's tagged then like my people will get a, a notice yeah, I don't know how to do that, unfortunately. Worry. I have not figured that out yet. I am I apologize. Um if anybody knows how I can do that, let me know. Drop it in the comments so I can tag Megan. Um, so tell me a little bit more about your relationship with Weej and Mark. Because I know that you work a lot with them side by side. How far back do you guys go? What's the deal? best they're like literally the best humans um so luigi and i met virtually about like 12 years ago maybe more i'm thinking about 12 13 years ago i was covering a lot of music back then and posting it on youtube when i was like 21 years old in college so i just do like some tribal seeds revolution soja covers and put them on youtube and then i fell in love with the hold up and started um covering the hold up but well Weege was obviously he was doing 880 south um with Greg and everyone and so he was working very closely with club styles and I guess they did a song with the hold up and I mean they were working together forever but um that's kind of how we met is through like club styles and covering music that he was working on and so he just was always reaching out to me and always supporting me and being like, hey, you and I should work on stuff. And like, still, that's why I love Facebook, because you can go back and look at the memories and the conversations that you had with people and how your relationship has grown. Like, I love seeing early conversations with me and Luigi, like, hey, you should really get a home studio and like send me some vocals. And then I went to school in Lexington for audio production and I got my Pro Tools set up and then I started sending him stuff. And then we both moved to Colorado at the same time. He moved from the Bay Area to south of Denver in Parker, Colorado. And I moved from Cincinnati to um, like Littleton, Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Uh -huh. And so, and he needed a babysitter for his three girls and Stop he it. knew that we wanted to work together musically. So I was like, well, that, that's what I'm doing in Colorado. Like here we are. And so we started peak arrival and we released one EP. Um, and I was babysitting his kids and like our relationship really grew then I actually like moved in with him for a little while. So we were roomies. Oh. And we've just always had like the most chill, laid back um, friendship. And he's just always really supported me and believed in me and like pushed me and keeps me consistent. And like, it's kind of unreal what he does for me. And so then he introduced me to Mark. So I've just met Mark kind of through him. And, um, and so Mark's studio down in Pueblo is where we record a lot of our stuff. And so that's where I try to get to kind of as often as possible. So that's um, awesome. they're a great team. I actually met Mark way back in my Corpus Christi days, probably about 20 years ago. There was a bar in Corpus, which is still there. They remodeled it and sold, um, switched owners, but it's called Dr. Rock, it's Blues Bar. And every Sunday night they had reggae night. <clears throat> 
and my band Monkeys doing it would always open up for all the the people traveling around. I actually got to uh, play a show with Mark long time ago, and it's really fucking cool that we were able to meet that way. Um, That's awesome. Mark knows everybody. It's kind of crazy. Small world. Okay, we're gonna do one reading with Miss Psychic Sandy. We have Chris Luna. His birthday was two twenty one. He wants to know about his love life. Well, 221, uh, so you're a Pisces. I think that right now you're going through a lot of different difficulties figuring out life and love. It's one of those big questions that we all have. And, uh, you know, I'm just, just knowing that, you know, you're here with us and you're part of this group. I know you're a really good person and you're going to find that person that's there for you somehow. And that's not something I could say psychically or whatever, just by feeling you. Because if you're here with us, you have a lot of love in your heart and you, and you care. You care about a lot of different things. And we talk about a lot of different topics here. So I tried to talk about every topic probably in, in, that is most important, especially to musicians and not musicians you know so will he find the love of his life this year i don't know because he wants to know it just looks so hard and we look so hard and then we find that one person we think is like the bestest person just because we're not best it's not a word but best person because we think we need to have this person in our life and sometimes it's not the right choice i've made a lot of bad choices but okay wrapping that up really quick okay (laughs) but 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 in between this month and um march uh the end of march you're going to find somebody that's very interesting that you may have quite an influence over you just have to take it real slow oh we need an update at the end of march to yeah know. We need an <laughs> yes <laughs> we and then also moreno wants to know is there happiness in his future there's happiness in your future baby there's so happiness yes whatever so uh, much happiness so much happiness just keep it going your own self. We keep our own self happy. And sometimes we have those down times, but you go, you got it. Okay, you guys, we're going to do our first giveaway. We're going to do a pair of these amazing sunshine socks. Um, they are a size medium. So if you got some big old feet, you might, well, unless you have like, you can come to your mom, to your grampy. To your grandmama. I mean, they make great gifts, you guys. Um, if any of the first person to tell me how Megan and Weege met, when's this pair of medium sunny shine socks? Um, first person to drop that in the comments. So Chris says, ooh. Um, winner is Jesse Duran. You are the winner of the Sunshine Talks. We love Jesse. She is an amazing part of this family. Thank you so much for being here. I believe you live in Arizona, if I am correct. Um, Congratulations. Send me that uh, message. Let me know your address and I will get those out. So Chris says that he'll be in Dallas at the end of March for a work convention. So does that mean he's going to meet the love of his life? He may right there. Oh my gosh. Work conventions, dedicated people. You're dedicated. You also, you know. mm. (laughs) Just look around. Don't, don't get too anxious, though. Just, you know. Uh, you get it, baby. You get it. You so get it. so Jay <laughs> says that y'all met in the motherfucking fuck, 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 um, in the circle <laughs> in the Circle K bathroom. How do we uh, Oh, my God. That's not I really funny. liked the one above that that said we met at a swingers convention. <laughs> it's like oh, ironically it's a funny joke with me and Jay anyway. So like the fact that it was right after that really cracked me up. That was that was Carlos funny. Is awesome. He actually oh, Jay's in my DM. <laughs> okay, can help the DM girls. Um uh, so Carlos Bassetta, he actually does karaoke at the catalyst and um carlos was there one of the very first times i ever i think the only time i ever did karaoke one and done never again okay you guys um do karaoke oh no oh no oh oh, come on if you ever come to my house you're doing karaoke this is like (laughs) carlos 
loves do you remember what song i sang like i don't even remember this is the part i don't even remember like doing the karaoke but i like made a comment that i'd never done karaoke before and he was like oh no for sure you did karaoke that one night and i'm like damn i'm so glad i don't remember that okay <laughs> hey, did Lee ever at leave his uh, sign? Leave never left his sign. He sure did it. So Chris says he's him. gonna. He's he needs. He better pack nice clothes and cologne. You're damn right, Chris. Don't overdo the cologne, honey. Don't overdo the cologne. Don't Nobody see. likes too much cologne. And don't use polo. Like, do you have a favorite? Like, I feel like cologne. Like, is like, like old spice. <laughs> is like a back in the day thing. Like, do men do men still wear cologne? Is that a thing? Old spice, baby. <laughs> If you wear cologne, let me know what kind in the comments. I want to know. That shit's toxic. You got to wear, like, I've been doing essential oils for my perfume. And guess what? I think Jake is still here in the chat. Jake Schwartz was here earlier in the chat. Today in the mail, this is why I love the reggae fam. Because, like, I feel like this is the only genre of music where people just, like, love you and just send you something to be, like, good vibes. I can't even believe it. He sent me this awesome necklace that is like an essential oil diffuser with the little felt pieces and you can like match the colors with oh, what you're wearing and okay. put the little oils on the felt and it's music notes on it. And it has a cute little saying in the back. And I just thought that was the sweetest thing ever. So we we did like them. Them. Wait, wear your we essential oils, they're not toxic. I love Wait, did you say we each sent that to you? <laughs> Who sent that to you? Oh, Jake Schwartz. Oh, Jake, Jake Schwartz, excuse me. You've not sent me any essential oil pieces. <laughs> okay, I'll be- I had like posted something uh -oh. about essential oils and then he just like saw that and was like, I send this to anyone I know that likes essential oils. So you have to like put it out there. There she goes, don't worry. Now I bet you'll get one. <laughs> Sunshine, so, it up. So Jay says La, La Coste, La Coste. What, how do you say oh. that? Lacoste, like the little alligator. Lacoste, is that, do they make cologne? Does it smell good? That's cologne. Uh, yes, I love that smell. That's what you, yeah, that's what he used to have and now he has aqua di Gio. Oh, well, well, Jay says he smells like a motherfucking sex panther. Whoa. Is that too much? Okay, next, next accidental cuss word. It can't be on purpose to get me to do it, but next like slip. Cuss word, I'm taking a tequila shot. Oh, um, hey, but how about wearing no cologne and just taking a bath? <laughs> yeah, like, right? Just wash your pits. Yeah, it just puts the deodorant on, and, you know, and brush your teeth, and, you know, that's clean your ears. And Look, I will tell you guys <laughs> one thing. Since the last time I've been hanging out with you guys, I've done a, got a lot of dental work done. Look at these pearly ones. <laughs> Um, and I'll I'm tell you, I hear five times, <laughs> listen, listen, mom is here to take care of me because I'm a baby at the dentist. I don't like that. She don't like shots up in my mouth and this, none of it. Um, my dentist, like bless her heart and you know, whatever oh, she don't wear deodorant. And I'm telling you guys, when I'm trying to breathe through my nose, you're in the comments. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Woo! You know what I'm saying? It's a whole vibe. So put on the deodorant, take a shower, use the essential oils. It's fine and it'll all be okay. And like, I hate to say this. Um, I try to be holistically healthy, but uh, like deodorant with no aluminum in it, it just doesn't work. Like, sorry, organic deodorant is not cutting it. And so until they improve that, just get the old dove secret it would up be smelling you heard good. it here you heard it here so mama lane she says she wants to hear some more megan richardson mm -hmm. yeah the you got another play when you warmed up that what she played that for us do you have another song you want to play for oh, us well, no, she didn't. She just did one more i could do vacation mode if anyone wants because to love do we would love before you start the song though jay says you deaf gotta scrub the gooch Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> don't say gooch. Is that a cuss word? I guess that's what they call it. <laughs> you look before I perform. It's a scratch, it's scratch. All right. Do woo. Let's go. You All guys. Right. If there's anyone new in the comments, let's drop a Spotify link for them to listen to vacation mode. 
Somebody please, before we do that, look, we're gonna do a little shot. <laughs> Little baby, little truly shot. Goodbye, shot. The, this one's <laughs> this one's for you, Megan. <laughs> you right, stop. Whenever you're yes, ready. No. You make me nervous standing there. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Change our flight so we stay here till Friday. I'm so glad that you finally see things my way. Let's ride bikes to the beach, pack a cooler. So much to do, and we're only getting older. Feeling good, like we should, no more stressing. Catch a tan with my man, no question. And that little red bikini never changes. Don't no matter if they went out with you, it's amazing. We're in our element, nothing we might regret. Babe, this is craziness, how we still so happy. You know we needed this party, and like what kids. It's as good as it gets, never going home. Vacation mode, turning off my phone. Leave us alone, we're in the zone. Vacation mode, it's a vibe so alive right beside you. Sunglasses on and I keep staring at your tattoos. Drinking my hand and got no plan and music jamming. Ain't been this happy since this whole thing began. Sorry, yes. I fucked up the hey, Ma mom and Weege are twinning tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Thanks for wearing my shirt. For the last, I miss you guys. For the last interview, I wore a Weege tank, the one that says, like, support independent music. And I thought yeah. about wearing another Weege top, but that's overboard. Too much Weege. I went with women supporting women. This oh, is your night. I'm going to go change my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Missy, mom. <laughs> I got a shirt for my birthday yesterday that said, I'm just a girl that loves pigs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, uh, oh, for Valentine's so this is our special surprise guest. I did not tell Megan um, <laughs> that I invited we Now, whether or not he dropped the ball, I'm not sure. If you did, no. you uh, <laughs> kind of alluded to it, but then he like pulled back and was like, "Well, maybe not." So I wasn't sure. I'm like, oh, "Look me in the eye." <laughs> no no mentira. Maybe, <laughs> but then when we talked about Luigi, and then like moved on, I was like, "Well, that would have been where he like popped in." So then I didn't think it was gonna happen. So it really ended up being a surprise. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
I am. Go ahead, Ouija. What's going on? Tell us what you're doing. Tell us all about all the stuff. All the deets, man. Uh, I'm a, I'm a songwriter. <laughs> That's all I do. That's all I'm doing. I'm just writing, writing a lot of music, getting ready to play shows this summer. Um, keeping busy. The Ouija album's coming, Kaylin. Kaylin, it's <laughs> coming. I'm, my chops. <laughs> you don't know how hard he and Mark and Blaine and the label and everyone has been working to like figure out when it's coming out. So Kaylin, we had, they had Mark, said in like, with some singles, but me. now it's a different model, which is, you know, singles, singles popping and you're going to get some good stuff here. Like Kaylin, maybe, like maybe a full what, year like, of Ouija. Yeah, Come. it's going to be a full year of Ouija. So like, it's going to be good stuff. I'm thinking like six weeks. <laughs> You'll have a single out. Is that a good ballpark? That's the hope. We're in we're in what they call crowd reviews, which is like if you imagine what um, Motown used to do. Barry Gordy used to have people sit in the room and listen to the songs, and if it feels like a certified hit, boom, they rank it up and release it first. So they're it's going through that process right now. There's ten songs getting scored, so we'll see. I'm excited. As soon as we know that, then the whole process of release schedule, PR, marketing starts and gets all corporate. But you know. You guys won't see that in the video. You'll just see the the funness that comes out of the music. But we're really excited. Fun. Megan's yeah. on it. Megan graced us with her vocals on it. So I'm really happy. Awesome. Um, when I I just lost my train of thought. That's okay, everybody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I first hit you up to see if you could be a surprise guest. Um I uh, actually told him the 22nd, I was like, hey, can you be a supporter uh -huh. tomorrow? And he's like, you know, I love you and support you and, and would do anything for you, but I got <laughs> practice and that comes first. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah, I had a jam with my boy, my buddy Marcelo and I, I thought it was yesterday, so it worked out. You know how hard it is to get together with other musicians to actually rehearse though? So like when you have a rehearsal on the books, like I commend you for, but yeah, it was a Wednesday interview, so you can do both. Well, and but, yeah, I made but how awesome though, that you were practicing on 2 22, 22. I don't care. I will keep saying it, motherfucker. On a Tuesday. Yeah, it was worth it. And I turned 61. It was worth it. And, it was and it was National Margarita Day. And you better believe oh, I had some margaritas oh, with my it. Taco Tuesdays. I was all about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't have any margaritas, unfortunately. I missed out on that. No one told me. I know nobody. That's told just me. been it for me. I've just been, I've just been writing a lot. I write it with a lot of different artists. I'm trying to create a stable of other songwriters to work with, along with the people I already work with, and I'm having a lot of fun doing it. You haven't been on the road at all. Nah, uh, October first, we put a hard stop because all this COVID shit, and I was sick of dealing with a lot of the protocols and stuff. And I'm just like, let's just focus on finishing the album. Mark and I were like dead set on just like, let's get this shit done right and uh, put the best quality into it. Mark's put, I don't know, I'm, I might be exaggerating, but probably like thousands of hours into this fucking mix. It's crazy. Hours, Mark and yeah, hours. Into the night, like nocturnal hours of just working on this weed album from Mark. Yeah, um, and he's like, He's you know like what? neurotic when it comes like to perfectionism, but it's like worth it because the stuff that's coming out is like, holy shit. Yeah, it's really that's to have him. I, I, you know what? I like the model of, and sometimes it just depends on the timing of a project, but I'm really big into like hibernating in the winter anyway, and then like getting out to outdoor venues and gigging in the spring and summer. So I kind of like the model of like hibernating in the studio and like cracking down in the winter in the vocal booth for me. And then like getting out and gigging. When I like that nice. too. So I don't know. I it worked out for me. I'm like, as soon as I'm a nice studio out, gangster. So Montana. I I I enjoy the studio more than anything. But I love live music too. So I can go either way. But so uh, we, yeah. let's let's party. You're gonna sing us a song or what? I don't. I'm not prepared. <laughs> you didn't tell me that. <laughs> oh no, we put we put everybody on the spot here at the sunshine. Oh, you know. No, what if you we know, I just play got over something? No, you just. I just got over laryngitis, dude. Like my voice is not ready. It got, your voice does sound better, but this fool has been struggling. You were sick yeah. all of January, and it's all just now getting better. So I just you, got my voice back. So what do you do, Weed? Do you have like 
advice for singers that maybe like what do you do when you're trying to struggle through that and still be able to like play music and and stay like motivated i mean uh, it's gonna sound terrible don't whisper whispering's the worst thing you can do when you when you're losing your voice don't I'm use out. lemon in your water lemon actually cuts into your vocal cords okay uh, don't drink caffeine and don't drink alcohol sucks but that's just the reality of it and then like just triple it, up on the water yeah and if you know if you're not against you know medicine i mean you could take antibiotics it helps with the healing process but i try not to use any meds if i don't have to but it took me a lot longer to get over it it was probably three and a half weeks that was pretty wow. fun now i know there's this thing they sell at the music stores and it's called a, a spray yeah it's a spray what is that called uh, throaties that's really good for performance like when you're you know on the spot in the show you just need to yeah. clear all that phlegm uh-huh. um, I was gonna say that too like for um personally when I'm sick like I don't love taking medicine at all unless I'm like freaking miserable but right before like if I've been sick and I know I have some inflammation going on I'll take yeah. an anti-inflammatory or at least like an ibuprofen and kind of like get down on that swelling but hydration yeah. is so so big is what I tell all my hydration <laughs> that, I forgot that one too um, and then there's a couple other things you can do. Uh, honey is always great in small doses. And then um, what's the other big one I do, Megan? It's, uh, well, steam is really good. To with salt water. It's really salt good. Salt water is great. Like yeah. clearing out that phlegm. I know, then... I know I'm missing something. Oh, pine, uh, for a day of performance, pineapple, man. Little chunks of pineapple will lubricate your throat so nice. Pineapple is good for so many things. You know what and they also... say about the pineapple. <laughs> you know what they <laughs> say. Um, I, <laughs> you knew it. So also though, oh, things to avoid are almost just as important. Like he said, avoid caffeine, avoid alcohol, avoiding dairy is really big or at like oh, peanut yeah. butter or anything that's going to leave that like phlegmy like, feeling on your vocal cords, like no milk, no yogurt, none of that. So on days that I have to record, which lately is like every day, I'm having to avoid those kinds of things. You don't want that like throaty, phlegmy. No. Nah. Unless you're Bob Dylan and you want that sound. Mm -hmm. Who are, let's do another giveaway, you guys. Who are three singers that we can think of that have that raspy, very unique voice that is like none other, but we're still kind of like, is it, is it hurting them? Like, is this like causing harm or physical damage? I don't know. I'm going to say my favorite is Janis Joplin. I mean, could we put her in? That's what I think you do. <laughs> Good one. Phil that Alselmo. Guy, that, no, that one guy that would always make those movements, what he's saying. What, Ma? The, that one singer. That one singer that did what? He always would make those movements, what he's saying. And he was a, uh, come on, y'all, musician. Oh, who? <laughs> he had a real nasty voice, but he would always make weird movements. And they would say, "Come on, I can't think." I'm old. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we say, "Hey, Lindsay in the house." She says, "Cat yeah. fucking Benson, fuckity fuck, 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 fuck. Are you just now Shut showing up? up? Better late than never. Hey. You know who has a sneaky good voice and is raspy, and I love her, ScarJo. I don't know who Scar Scarlett is. Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. Oh, yeah, she's my heart. Got that smoke. She has this new little smoky voice. She's she plays like the porcupine in Sing, the animated film Sing and Sing yeah. Two. So she does some really cool, like little punk rock raspy voice songs, like sneaky. She's good. got like a low voice naturally. Check out the Sing Two soundtrack; it ain't bad. Drop but even even what, where Scarlett Johansson really got me was when she did that uh, movie Her. And she did the yeah, the I know soundtrack that movie. for that. She was the uh, the voice of the robot or whatever, and they uh, uh, oh, Karen, oh yeah, that was messed up. So Karen yeah. Oh of uh, the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs, she actually does some of the soundtrack work for that movie, and, and I just, I love Karen up. So let's just do, put that out there. Um, You guys, I'm trying to get another special guest in here, and I'm having a little bit of an issue. If anybody knows how we can add an iPad user to the Zoom app, drop it in the commies. Coming. 
Make that person use their telephone. Their t- <laughs> the phone. Okay, you guys, let's see these answers. We have Dylan, 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 and Dylan. Who's Dylan? Wait, what? Dylan? Okay. Bob sorry. Dylan. Bob all Dylan. the Bob Dylans. No, all yeah, the who Dylans. won? And his son. When you all figure out the, what I know, you're going to know. Speak which says Louis about. Armstrong and Joe Crocker. Ooh, Joe Crocker. Great shit the right there, bro. Speak on it. Thinking about Joe Cocker, mijo. That's the one, y'all. Good. I love Joe Cocker. Well, they, they said free. Sunny, too. No. The assignment was free. Look, I was trying to look it up. <laughs> um, we also I'm have. Guessing, I'm guessing first. Hold on. We have Neil Fallon. No, no, no. We have Pat Benatar, Rod Stewart, and Bonnie Tyler. Oh, I love Rod. Oh, Bonnie Tyler is good. So I think, I think. What about? Wait, let's see. I'm trying to see. No, you put Louis Armstrong twice. So no, you don't. You don't win. <laughs> Janice Joplin, Tom Wait. Did I say what what we were How winning? We I don't yeah. know. Jo- How about <laughs> Philip and Selma from Pantera? We, we need three, three raspy singered voices. I feel no, like Jason Perry. Jan- Mom, one person needs to write all three. Oh. Oh. Sandy. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm just the well, there's, 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 there's Bob Dylan and Jacob Dylan. So someone just needs to throw another one on there. Di- what is Jay saying? We need to pronounce it dialogue. Is that Boston talk or what? Dylon? Dylon. Dylon. That doesn't sound like Boston. <laughs> no, it doesn't. That sounds Boston. I'm bad at accents. I can speak. Uh... Never mind. I'm going to do it. <laughs> 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 All right, Chris Luna. I almost know what you're <laughs> Chris Luna with the birthday of 221, who is meeting his soulmate in March at the Swingers Convention. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> yeah, thematic. I dig it. Lots of Sunshine Show references. Oh, here. no, I didn't know. Is that Cocker, technically a key party? Sorry. Joe Cocker, <laughs> Tyler, and Rod Stewart. So, Chris, you have, did we say what we were winning? I don't think we did. We're going to, you won this amazing pair of Lemmy socks that I made myself. I hope you have a big foot to fill them. Okay. Oh, bam. Hey, I hey, still don't see. think we've had an accidental swear since I, since I said that. Just ah, that's that's keeping a, it. That's a great that was tea, it, it can't be on purpose. That's right. It has to be a slip, like an, a genuine dirty word. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you guys, I want to play Disney, Disney trivia with Megan. If you guys watched this last time, you know what this is in reference to. If you didn't, well, whatever. Let's do it. Okay, let's just. Well, let's just tell them. She made me on the fly, and I love her for this. Uh, do a Disney medley. She was like, let's see how many Disney songs you can sing. Because, like, if, if you know me, you know, like, I love covering Disney shit. And I that was, I guess that counts as a tequila shot. But I, I'm like the Disney princess of, like, reggae music. Let's be real. So. <laughs> but, um, yeah, give me your Disney. Uh, I got this. I got you. Under the sea. Wait, that's Sebastian. That is like a good crossover song for us, ain't it? That's Sebastian, though, huh? Da, 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 da. Give me the steel drum and more right now. Hey, that Let's was go. my son's first instrument was the steel drum. Um, yes. When he was nine years Sorry. old. In Austin, they have a community steel pan band there on the east side, if anybody is in Austin. And is interested. It's all ages. It's really phenomenal, and I think it's really good to get your kids started in music as fast as possible. It's up. Um, this kind of segues into what I was thinking about. So I see Susan is posting, and I see Speak. So Speak, tell me, your daughter had a a, a school a, a a band concert, and they actually wore masks but cut holes. Oh my God! <laughs> Did you see that shit? I want to know how did that work out for the children, Jade? Let us all know how did it work out. Oh, God bless it. God bless those children. What? Like, let's God. use logic. I'm all about safety. Like I support whatever makes you feel safe and healthy, and like I support science. But let's be logical. Like cutting out holes of masks 
for wind instruments ain't doing it like that's not it i was blown away i was absolutely blown away but at the same time you that's what you know you got what it's a very like um different way of thinking you know you got to think outside the box <laughs> yeah, i support i respect that and i get it i think it's all about like Com people are trying to compromise and they're trying to find like something that will work so that the kids can still do their thing with like a little bit of safety and everyone can feel safe but you know i feel like everyone's smart. <coughs> subject change <coughs> <laughs> i'm trying to be pc here I'm just like. kidding i'm just kidding <laughs> Oh, All right, kidding. you guys, there is the Disney trivia. We are waiting for Disney trivia so that we can really trick Megan here. All right. All right. So we're waiting for that in the comments. Like we're we're like taking yeah. Disney trivia. Tell, tell okay. Missy to tell Missy to drop some. She's got some stumpers. She can throw some good ones in there. Wait, who are we talking about? Missy. Missy. Oh, Missy. Okay, so socolab at gmail.com. That's where this is going. Now I know who it is. That gave it uh, up. He's so so funny funny. <laughs> hey, so, or Soco, Soco Sound. I'm sending you that link. Let me know if it works out for you. You guys, right after the show, we uh, there's an after party with Late and Bake. Wait, is it Wait, wait and Bake? The Late and Bake? Late and Bake. Later, boom. Long time ago. Uh, you guys got to head over there and go check them out. Jason, if you're still here, drop your link in the chat. That's happening after the show, directly after the show. A PC. Lindsay's, uh, go ahead. I just tagged so Lindsay's them. disappointed. She just said it's a PC episode of the Sunshine Show. Motherfucker. <laughs> Do you know what else? The person that got me like turned on the tequila in the first place is I'll give him a shot just for that. Wait, who got to turn on to tequila? Mark, he told me one day, and it's true. I want you to check it out. If you only drink tequila, like, and nothing else, and you don't quit with that shit. <laughs> I'm like, I can't hear myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I like I'm it. If I was, like, talking in a beat, it would have worked. But, um... <laughs> If you only drink tequila, you don't mix it with anything. You don't have a beer, white claw, like just tequila. It you like legitimately don't get a hangover. It's just facts. Wow. You can't mix it with like uh you know the sour mix. That's too sugary. You just just the pure. But don't you have to have like a good tequila though? It can't be just like. It can't be what I'm drinking. Yeah. I'm not saying Jose Cuervo is doing it. <laughs> but we're on a teacher budget. So I just wanted to take a moment. I wanted to dedicate this episode to Josh Ledson. We lost him um, a couple of weeks ago. And this bag of hot Cheetos goes out to Josh, okay? Because Josh knew how much I love my hot Cheetos. Um, I'm going to open up this hot Cheeto uh, bag and I'm going to eat a hot Cheeto in dedication for Josh. So whatever you guys have to snack on or drink on, let's, uh, let's put one out for Josh there. Okay, we got the snacks. When we got the drinks. All right. Refreshing. That was uh that was, was sweet. that was that real refreshing for you? Yeah, that was really really, really, really nice of you to give a shout out to him. I know it's hard on the community, so that was special. He was a very, very special man. I wish I could have met him in person. Unfortunately, I was not able to. I know that they had a amazing show um, featuring the movement and they dedicated the whole tour to Josh. So you guys, this one's for Josh. We love you, we miss you. And we know that you are here with us still and lives on through our hearts and our memories. And we can't ever forget that because memories fade people. So we need to write this shit down and publish them. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying? had a lot of awesome friends like I didn't know him personally but like I, I almost everyone I've met in this fam has been posting about him and my heart goes out to all of you guys and um, so this one's for you Josh and fam and friends right. and fuck that's for you too buddy um oh and, and middle 
All right, you guys. So what do we got? Melissa is dropping some trivia in the comments. Don first says, leave my fucking gain alone. Okay, I love that. <laughs> What's my gain? Uh, part of your world, Little Mermaid. But that's I want to like be a, where the people are. That's not trivia. That's like a request. <laughs> she is not she's playing good. request. We need to know what is the name of the motherfucking crab in the so little like. Room. Okay, I want to know Sebastian. like people asking me shit like when did Disneyland open? 1955. <laughs> I have been to Disneyland with the Casaretto family, and it was so fun. I just have to say. <laughs> Oh hell yeah, dude! So the was perks. and I was pregnant, and they had a three-year-old. So like, we just stayed back and ate churros and Dole whips, and they went on all the lives. <laughs> but it was so fun. Like I had so much fun. It was memories. Oh, <laughs> uh, I feel for Dole whip. So Kylan says that she was actually at the show in Norfolk that the movement dedicated. I believe Little Strangers was also on that lineup. My mom loves Little Strangers. Coffee and a joint in the morning. Maybe it can morning, what? Maybe. Coffee and a coffee joint, coffee, coffee and a joint, you know? Yeah. That's mom all the time. So, uh um, have to have that coffee and a joint every morning, right? Right, y'all? Right. Sorry, base kids, y'all. You're going to be in bed. Megan's children. <laughs> they're asleep. Oh, they're asleep. Sebastian is the, about Sebastian Patty. is the crab. Oh, Melissa said they said song that we said songs. We may have, but we don't. We don't remember anything that we say, Melissa. Come on now. <laughs> I'm gonna start asking you guys trivia, and whoever answers okay. it right. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I got it. I got idea. it. What's the name of the little idea. boy? in um the jungle book oh, i know this one i do too what Mowgli. Ah! Mowgli, that, yeah. right. that is right I said Enoch. that was like right before i was born i think i think that was like an 89 movie i was born in 90. susan lane you are not right for no, that yeah, question already out. girl girl like 61 you yeah, are not right 61. I turned 61. I was born in 1961 and, I was, and it was 2 22 22 yesterday's girl. So you're here. You, you, can only, you can only hear it right here. Happy birthday to oh, you. Oh, my mama. Happy baby. birthday, dear Sandy. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you. There's my Disney princess voice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes okay, beautiful. I thank got a you. question then for Megan. If you could be any Disney princess, what Disney princess oh, would you be and why? I don't know. Frozen. <laughs> right now, I'd be so I'm not like a typical like Disney like obsessed person like where I'm like the nerdy kind. You know what I mean? You know those people. Okay, so that's not necessarily me, but I just like appreciate the fact that it's like good quality music a lot of the time. So I have to go with like the musically gifted princesses. Wait, the what? Musically gifted princesses, the ones with like the dope songs. I need to think on that. Princess Tiana. Hey, well, while well, so you that's what I was go that's what I so you're so in my brain. That was what I was thinking. Almost there. Almost there. Like hello with the soul, like bring it, but like obviously and knowledge. Oh, yeah. Hey, you guys, yeah, I got to yeah, take yeah. a quick break. So I'm going to turn my video off, but you guys keep chatting and I'll be right back. All right. All right. We'll talk to Disney. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, who would I be if I was, I don't know. Um, I feel like with the hair, like maybe Rapunzel. I do love Tangled music. Tangled was dope. That's one of my favorites too. Whenever I need to like really focus on, I have like major problems with ADHD and whenever I need to actually like be a housewife and clean my house I turn <laughs> I haven't done it in a while but like when I'm really struggling and I need to like get it together and clean the house I turn on some tangled and it gets me going <laughs> right Zach? I'll put some questions yo you guys got any questions yeah let's open the question forum who's hosting Lindsay it's you now you're hosting <laughs> Who's hosting? Jack says hi. He may have helped me with what, the mug. What the fuck do you do? That's what Lindsay wrote. 
What do you do or what do I do? Megan do you, or me? What do you, you have to, do? <laughs> so to do? I'll just what start. I am a preschool music teacher. Hi, Zach. Hi, <laughs> Weed. Hey, buddy. <laughs> um, who's the dude on the right? So what do I do? I'm a music teacher and a vocal instructor and a piano teacher and a mother and a singer and a songwriter and a wife <laughs> and we just BFF and old babysitter. Do I want a baby? Yeah, like a, a one that's already existing or a new one? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, a PG-13. Like, is he telling me is he telling me a child is awake or is he like asking to put Hey, a we got a in? question. We got oh, a question. What's the question? It says, when are you guys coming to Hawaii? That is a great question. Can we when all go we... together? Can we have like a family trip? Let's do it. Let's I got some homies out there. Oh. Do you guys know who three plus is? Oh. Hawaiian sweet, band. Sweet baby. Oh, sleeping. Woke him up. Hi. So guys, when Megan isn't teaching um, music, <laughs> it, this is her other full time job. Um, and we have, look at this sweet baby boy. What's his name? And he is five and a half. He had his half birthday on 222 because he's oh, August. Yeah. He's exactly five and a half, right, bud? Oh. He's learning. You know that song? He's a, so B, tired. E, F, <laughs> you, and your mom, and your sister, and your job. Yeah. So he's, he's learning that on piano right now, like all on his own. And I think that's so cool. He's my little guy. So I got pregnant with Nolan in Colorado when we and I were doing peak arrival. And like we did that whole California tour, like when we I was just just in Disneyland. <laughs> 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 Disneyland. Wait, so you got, so was, your husband was there with you with, in Colorado? My speakers turned off for some reason. I can't do it. It's all distorted. What are you guys saying? <laughs> Bye, Nolan. It was nice seeing you, sweetie. Night, night. Bye, oh, sweetie. Night, baby boy. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Thanks, husband. Your mama's famous. One day they're gonna sleep through the night. This is like he like wakes up five thousand times a night, comes in my bed. Does that ever stop? Yeah. Uh, you know, my son's twenty three and he has stopped coming to my bed. <laughs> so he does. Because he lives in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> it does it does stop all right you guys let's check out these comments let's check out the the fan bam i'm so stoked to be back i'm so stoked you guys are all hanging out with us we're having a great time we got kaylin gosh darn it it's, a, it's kylan right i saw kaylin kaylin oh, kaylin kaylin we got melissa leaf susan you are not right for that question girl paco chris we got the whole fam bam what is the name of jasmine's pet tiger in aladdin oh that's a good trivia question that is good it's um look at I need her, one look second at, she's googling it <laughs> not googling it i was looking at comments oh <laughs> it is uh Ra, it starts with an r uh, raja you knew that Motherfuck, motherfuck. I did not know. Uh, do I take a drink for that? Yeah. Say yes. All right. How many times you've watched that? Drink it, drinky. During uh, my like pre-interview, I was like, I'll take a drink if I get it wrong. But now I'm just I'm have gonna you get guys, them right. Have drink. you guys seen that clip? And it's like the jungle book and another Disney movie side by side, and like the characters are doing the same things. Um, Linz, I think you posted it on your timeline. What was the- 11, 11 Eastern, make a wish. Make a wish, everybody, make a wish. Um, do we know, it was Jungle Book compared to another Disney movie and they were doing the exact, oh, it was Pooh Bear. It was Disney, it was- um, I did see that Lindsay post that. <laughs> That was weird, you guys. So it's like they just take the format, but they change the characters, but they're doing the same shit. Um, 
Lynn says, of course, Megan knows this shit because she lives in the Disney universe. Sort of, kind of. I'm not, you know, those are nerdy ones. <laughs> How uh, many steps did um, they take on the yellow brick road to get to the Wizard of Oz? Oh. How many steps? Yes. On the, you know, the yellow brick road? Yeah, they had to walk on the I know road. a lot of, like, Wizard of Oz trivia, but that's not one of them. I don't oh, know yeah. how many steps. Know. Do you know how many steps? Yeah. 420? Psychic Sandy. 420, yes, you get the prize. <laughs> the answer is always 420. Always. Oh, I was trying to speak like Sandy language. I was like, it's got to be something. It's either 222 or it's 420. It would have been some outrageous number because I have no clue. Got to just work the dealer, guys. All right, we. So what'd she win? Wait. She her what she won is that she doesn't have to take a shot. Uh, no, that's a, that's a, that's a Mark. Mark, where is Mark? Mark, it, Mark has okay. So the cat's out of the bag, you guys. We had another special guest, Mark LeBlanc, who is the drummer of all drummers, the reggae drummer of the scene, the one and the only. And he cannot fucking log in with his motherfucking iPad, motherfuck, fuck, fuck. Well, make okay. him do it on his. Oh. Well, but that's what we've said. So, Mark, if you're out there, if you're out there, log in on your Easy. phone. You download the app on your phone. I'm texting him. You're very smart. Um, um, but I also know that, like, where he's at was trying to install Wi-Fi today. So maybe that's the issue. Don't. And anymore. you know that's fine. We can come back and and do a rewind and reshoot with old Marky Mark. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Okay, I love Marky Mark, but let's be honest here. I am in love with Donnie Wahlberg. In case you guys don't know, now you know. You know. I've been building an underground um, cellar. You know? I've been building that underground cellar for years now. So Jenny, just be careful with your man. Uh, night, night, Kaylin. We love you so much. Um, Lucas, Hi, Kaylin. <laughs> I know all my East Coast people are gonna be like trickling off like everybody's like kaylin 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 um you guys thank you so What's much wrong? for it no, no it's it's all good it's all good psychic sandy it's all well, good we uh we're having a party like none other we're having the best party ever david hammer says we sunshine megan when are y'all playing santa cruz oh my god we just started a band you guys there's the, it's, look at all these instruments. Hello. When are we going to Santa Cruz, Weege? Well, there you go. He, I was there. I saw him. in Santa Cruz. The well, I can't Santa Cruz. hear you. Can you hear me? You're like real quiet. Why is he so quiet? Hold on. It's because he's out in the country. The country will do that. Wi-Fi. The country will do oh, that to you. Where? In Parker, Colorado, but it's so beautiful. Oh yeah. <clears throat> it's like just it just feels it sounds like muted. So either yell or like, you know. How about now? Can you hear me now? It's like muffled. I'm gonna take a shot about it. We got Jason Perry in the chat. He says, How much wood could a wood chuck chuck double wood chuck good chuck wood? <laughs> Jesse, your birthday is three days after my birthday. I'm 4'11", and Jesse is 4'14", and Jesse wants to know what Sandy's got for her on April 14th. <laughs> Birthday. Wait, for who, Jesse? Yeah, she's oh, an Aries, yeah. right? I'm an Aries. We love Jesse, and she just won these amazing, and stay tuned, folks, because we have a lot more to give away. Jesse just won these sunshine socks. You, too, can have a pair of these if you go to Etsy.com slash slot. No, 4'14 is going to be good. 4'14 is going to be a good day this year. I see nothing but happiness and goodness for everybody. We just have to keep together, push together, help other people, keep that happiness in our life, give a smile, even when we don't want to. But can you tell Jesse, can you tell Jesse who lives in Arizona with her husband? I don't, Jesse, do you have children? I don't think she does. With her husband and possible children, she may have some dogs or some cats. I don't know. Fuck up. Oh, we can hear you now. You're back. Give me some weed. And then he went muted again. 
<laughs> yeah, you're good. Right? Are you there? No. No. That's okay. Know. Oh, there you are. No, He's back. He's back. I, can't I, mean, that. I can it's see the dot, 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 dot. I'm going to reconnect. I'll be right hey, back. Hey, Greg says, hey, fuckers. I got news. Yeah. What? Greg, what is your news? What's your news? He oh. has news. Those this is our them. bass player, by the way. This is uh, the ba Greg Medeiros. He's a bass player for 880 South, but he does bass for all of the weed stuff. We call and him the my we call him, we call him the sexy G. Yeah, he's the G money. He's the G unit. <laughs> hey, Megan, uh, G baby, what is your news? I he says I dot dot dot. Like we gotta wait for it. So what do we do while we wait? This is Give me more Disney movie. trivia. So wait, hey, so wait, repost, just they reposted Sunshine's interview with Face Magazine. Lord of mercy. Yes. We How about now? All right, you sound great. Yeah. Fucking hey. I was trying to say. <laughs> Get in this room, girl. Let's talk about Colorado life, living in the boondogs, raising them chickens. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to say uh, chicken fans, two dogs and <laughs> chickens. You just well, shake the head. lemonade I'm sipping on. Somebody <laughs> drop the link for peak arrival lemonade because it's Melissa, good. Melissa, <laughs> Melissa. I I've, I've heard that you have amazing dance moves. Can we see some of these dance moves? Drop a beat. <laughs> Look at that. she froze. We need the I dance moves. Is. Wiggle your hips, girl. Okay, well, that's a, I don't have dance moves. You go, you got the <laughs> best dance move. I've seen them. Can't get anything to play. So Greg says he just talked to an original player in 880 South. What is 880 South for those who may not know? It's an old NorCal band that started back in 2002, I think that um, may or may not start releasing music again. That's exciting. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. What kind of music? Reggae rock. Well, cool. Mom, tell me, so my mom actually got to see Greg and Ouija and oh, Mark yeah. and the whole fan band um, out in Capitola, which is like 10 minutes from I my house. I'm not a musician. And me and mom, and our friend Eugene, we went down there and we had a blast. Let me tell yeah. you, we were dragging mom out of that show because she was so busy hitting on That's your drummer. <laughs> right? Yeah. So tell yeah, we yeah. Where is he? I got something to talk to you about because I read that what you told my son. I was on Facebook and I saw, yeah, when mom was sitting on my come on, he's doing my son. <laughs> I'm gonna whoop your butt and if I see you like a to me talking about that. This, I, I told some, I asked a book. for the story. Oh, I'm here for that. Smoke some weed. That's, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't say that. Ah. She's she rolls all the joints up for <laughs> the musicians. That's what mom That's does. What I do. I don't want to do nothing else. So uh I don't need no boyfriend. Giveaway boyfriend. time, giveaway time. She we said have, I've been getting on by. Look, oh we have my. one of these awesome in base we trust stickers, you guys. I also have some other cool things I'm gonna throw in, like a Dolly Parton holograph. Who doesn't love Dolly this Parton? Trying to give away now. This is my like Dolly. Dolly. And then I also Jolene. Have, Jolene. And then in Cliff We Trust. So we have a three sticker back here, holographic. I want you guys to tell me um, what is the name of the snake on the original Robin Hood cartoon? Oh. oh Which happens to be my favorite Disney movie, okay? Hey, Ma. Um, the one who, okay. hey, the one who's like, like very SC, like very sibilance. Yes. Yeah. Mama. Uh, hey, mama. Greg says, tell your mama to holler at me. <laughs> yeah, how old are you, baby? Greg and Sandy, what up? <laughs> Capitola was, was fun, y'all. 
I got to, he's going to be, uh, what do you call it, beep, or how do you, when the president, they go to. She's going to beep you. No, <laughs> Grand you know beep. <laughs> 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 oh, you go through that process where they trick you all the. the beep, beep. beep. Oh, well, yeah, my Gregory. So, Gregory oh, says, I got your snake right here. <laughs> I said. <laughs> Jesus. Gregory. Nelson the not alluding to fart box. Real hot. Can you make, can we play a little fart box so You're my son. You're that's like my his son. That's his bass player, Mom. Ooh, the one that's saying. Yeah, so anyways, <laughs> we went down there, and Mom, she ran off with Mark, which if you guys don't know who Mark <laughs> is, that is Stop, mom. Hold on. Let me tell you Mark. Oh my my mom ran it. off, and we're like, well, where is mom and Mark? And they were just smoking it. Like, they were just <laughs> smoking what? it up on the beach. Like, <laughs> nobody what? cares about <laughs> anybody else. <laughs> you can see it. They were making <laughs> out, weren't they? Oh, my God. You guys, God. nobody, literally, nobody <laughs> has, nobody, what, what am I giving away? Did I say? Oh, the you sticker. Just talk, you just Nobody it. wants the sticker pack. Who? What Nobody the hell is the name so of the snake in the? What is the uh, Robin Hood? Oh, Robin Hood. Hood. Look, Mama. Oh. David says Mama wants love. Do you guys want to hear a really Why funny story? You know what? I just googled his name, and I'm not going to give it away. But yes, it really funny. Mom, stop. Hold on. She I'm going to tell you guys a story oh. while people are fucking. Um, googling the name so my mom so i'm trying to do business with my local liquor store and i'm trying to put my stuff in his liquor no, store no. which i've been successful with my shirts and stuff so i dropped off a couple of custom socks and i'm no, like no, hey and he's like i'm gonna get back to you with a business plan so about last week my phone rings and i'm like oh shit felix is ready to talk business i'm dying if Both I'm lying doors. right now, if I close the door, I'm like, oh my, I'm like, what's up, Felix? He's like, uh, what kind <laughs> of cigarettes does uh, Mima smoke? Because Mima's boyfriend was at the liquor store trying to buy her cigarettes while I'm trying to be a damn businesswoman. And this is it wasn't about business at all, it was about <laughs> Mama's <laughs> thing. <laughs> So Paco said his, and then I think someone else said Mr. His. It's What's the difference? Close. That's really close. Which oh, one's which? Which okay. one's Okay. Well, I don't think right there yet. You're like so close. Are we really close, you guys? Oh, because Megan Megan Googled it. So it's not oh, Mr. Service. His. Oh, Chris Luna said Mr. the service. Who was it? Was that Chris the first? Luna? Okay, so Chris, wait, oh, what, Chris? So you're winning two prizes tonight? Whoa, you guys. Double trouble. Channel. <laughs> Mom said, see, that you have to, Chris Luna, do you have Disney Channel? Chris <laughs> <laughs> have children. Um, through, oh, David said three people have answered already. Oh my God, we have, okay, so I might mess this name up. Is it Terry, Tere? Matra. Oh, that's the bassist from Catch a Fire. My favorite friend, my bassist from Catch a Fire, which you guys like Catch a Fire. What? You guys go show this man some mad love. Go follow him because you don't even know. Bassist. If you don't know, then you don't know. Seriously. Catch a Fire. We, yeah, someone drop some Catch a Fire links like in the comments right now. Exactly. And unfortunately, I think they've been on the lockdown recently, but he, um, you've been putting out some bass covers. I've been sharing them in the bass kids. Like this is the man. And I've been trying to get an interview with them. So, hey, let's go with that, you know, Catch a Fire. Oh my gosh. My um, comments are weird on the Facebook, but Kaylin oh. said that Leaf said Sir Hiss first. I see where he said oh. Mr. Well, you know what, guys? We'll figure it out. And I we'll figure know. it out. We'll get the right, but, we'll get the right person. We'll look, review. Look, we'll you guys, review the footage. I got plenty of stickers. So no worries as to like we got this. I, I got all we give stuff. away a vacation mode sticker. Yes. <laughs> Vacation. Can I ask a question real quick? This is like for base kids and stuff, right? I guess me, ma, grandma, whatever the hell. Uh, <laughs> or, or so, how come we don't have even one kid playing or a scale or something, you know, or 
Now we gotta get this for the kids. We're talking about a lot of but mama, this is the cost episode. We're, We're trying to raise yeah. money for the Catch fund. Fire. raise We're money for the Noel fund. Raise money is how much cuss words you could say. I'm just playing with y'all, but really though, you know it's helping so donations. Yeah, we need donations, but we need also to get donations for children's uh, instruments and get we them actually getting, getting some programs. so actually last getting, sorry mom go ahead getting some programs I, here here exploded get on me. I really think a good program y'all would that y'all could proceed with is um oh sorry sunshine I don't I don't know what I'm calling you but like people that have instruments that they don't use anymore you know like when I played a flute when I was in sixth grade but I've played, you know, my, you know, a lot of. Um, I think that would be a really good organization to get together where we can donate. Of, but a lot of schools get rid of it. So, so base kids yeah. actually last year, um, we got together with Ben Biver, Ben Biver, Ben Diver, Ben Diver, and yes. we actually got some donations going for a um, Chica's, Ro Chica's Rock in Corpus Christi. Somebody broke yeah. in and stole their bases and we were able to collect enough money oh, to um, give them three brand new bases. So, you know, join Sunshine and the Base Kids. Such a good fucking organization. Fuckity fuck, fuck. We donate all kinds of money and do all kinds of really cool years. Things. Two years this week. That's awesome. Yeah. So it's our yeah. two year anniversary, you guys. I got these little popper things at the dollar store. I don't know how they work though. Uh, oh, oh rotate. Rolling. it says rotate. Hey, yo, where's fire in the house? Uh, <laughs> Wiz fire, baby. So tonight, uh, the after show at eight thirty. Actually, they are going on right now. Uh, the wake and the late and big show, and uh, they are fucking living the life for Viva Arizona. So right this is a great. Um, <laughs> everybody, go and what? follow them and follow him. Happy two year, Pedro Cantu. I got family in the house. Yeah, here we go. Oh, uh, it's the wrong oh. way. Oh. I thought that is. Oh. Hey! Hey. There was confetti at the <laughs> Megan and Sunshine show. Okay, but Pedro goes bottom to it. Oh, what's up? Oh, oh man. All oh, my fucking it. family, dude. Like, You're we're telling her how to do it right. Oh, I love that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> More confetti. <laughs> I we told you it would be a party. You didn't believe. Uh, you didn't believe it. You guys, Major we're going to start Major. wrapping this up in a little bit, but I still have a few that more. Was so cool. That, that was, was fun. So cool. We have a few more, a few more things to give away. So I have um, this shirt that actually says, nurses do it better. This is a size large. And yeah, we know I'm a, a nurse. And, and you know, to be with mom is a um, registered nurse. Uh, she has the longest name ever. I always say I'm going to give her a nameplate. And it's Sandra Julie Carol Martha Munson Cantu Guerra um, LP, no, LVN, yeah. RN, LPC, LLC, Gangsta, Hippie Mama, all the oh, different. <laughs> Psychic. <laughs> so if you guys can tell me one of my mom's middle names, I just gave them two. She has four middle names. If you can name one of those middle names, you get this versus do it better shirt size large. And maybe. Now I understand why your piggies have long names too, because it's just what you're used to. It is. Um, so what's one of my middle names, y'all? But while, so the first one is you did to win. Drop a middle name from Mama Cantu in the comments. <laughs> and, you will win the and then I wanted that to, nurse is that. I wanted to also show you guys. So it's been a long couple of months. We know that um, at a big time off, I actually have a new family friend and his name is Winston Diego Nelson Cantu. Um, he's sleeping on the couch, but I want you guys to see him because I know yes, I was happy. hoping you would do this. I was gonna ask, but I didn't know since he was in the other room. So that let's go. He's our newest family member. He's a rescue from Texas. I got um, this piggy. And if everybody, if anybody's familiar with Mark Board, who's also a singer-songwriter, um, this I is love Mark Board. Yes, he was the one who hooked me up with little Winnie Di Diego, which you guys yeah. know I really needed really bad. That was really hard for me. And this is 
This is look at that little smile on his face. It's just he like, is smiling. Hi, Winnie. He knows he's on TV. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what he's watching. Hold on, let me show you. So peaceful. <laughs> so cute. He's super spoiled. So that's Winston Diego, and I'm super happy to have him here with us. Um, and I'm glad you guys could all meet. We are going to start wrapping this party up because the guys over at the Late and Big, they are already having a party. And I want you guys to hang over there and go hang out with them too. Um, oh, but my oh my God, you guys, we <clears throat> do you have any like nut cracking techniques you can share with us? You heard that? <laughs> I don't. I just. My old body just cracks. I mean, I don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> your old body? When do you know you're old? Like, is this a thing? Or like, I, I feel like this. It's when you wake here... up. It's when you wake up. It takes a lot longer to get out of bed. <laughs> yeah, I feel I like got question. I got a question for Megan. Megan, question <laughs> for you. Okay. If you could pick a genre that you could play that you have never played in before or like recorded or written in, what would you do? Oh my goodness. This is a good question. So I've done obviously reggae. I've done like, you know, what would you call some? Oh, I have some EDM releases, which are really fun. Um, done a little bit of hip hop. Um, definitely like, some more R and B soul. You guys, look what I just pulled out of my shirt. What the? <laughs> You're magical. <laughs> You're like a magician. What, is... <laughs> what else do you have in there? I know. Yeah, R and B soul for sure. Like keys, a sandwich. <laughs> you guys, one time, true story. I was hanging out with my buddies in Corpus and I knew I was like gonna pull this stunt. And so I put a little mini can of bean dip in one uh, side of my bra and like some Cheetos in the other side of my bra. And uh, just randomly I like pop it. Yeah. And that's why people love me because I do shit like that, you guys. You too could put bean dip in your that's bra. My girl. You too could put bean dip in your bra and be just as magical as that. <laughs> there is no shame in bean dip in your bra. No shame. Oh no, it's a mini, it's a travel size. Grim Bailey Ray, girl, put your records on. Tell me your favorite song. Girl, no, no, let your hair down. Yeah, Greg, let's do that. Greg, like, let's cover it. I'm like, I'm on it. Mm. Uh, we own it you guys so what else do we have some more trivia for meg do we have like some questions for weed like are we mad at mark for not joining the festivities yes we're All right. mad. you know what i'm thinking i'm gonna be with him tomorrow i leave town like, tomorrow night i'll be down with him like he's recording with pinochle this week and so I tennessee a couple hours from me and I'm like, I'm gonna pop down and see what's up and see if I can lend some vocals. So um, maybe we'll pop on live tomorrow and be like, here's our, here's our episode. Like pop it hot, you know, like, or is that what it's called? Pop it hot? Pop it's, it like, a, it like hot? it's a pop pretty it sick like setup. Hot. He has a, he basically moved his entire studio to Tennessee in a mobile kind of setup. And he's setting up in this house. That they have. It's fucking tight. Yeah, I was like shocked. Everything I saw getting set up, I was like, "That's all marks." Did he literally bring all that? He, it was he brought us. He loaded in the truck and went. Yeah. Did I'm we, gonna go see what's up? Yeah, I didn't read stats. Where are your snacks? Oh, me? oh excuse me. We is the snack. Okay. I'm the snack. I was too anxious to eat. So I have He's no the whole snack. damn snack. Okay. His husband like, brought me a McDouble and I was like, I don't want my stomach to hurt. Uh, I'm too chubby. I don't like to eat after seven. Neither do I, but this episode is for Josh and he loves hot oh. Cheetos. I actually don't know if he loved hot Cheetos or the fact that I could like laugh at myself and be like, because, you know, I used to have the trolls and they'd be like, you're so fat. Your legs look like hot Cheetos. So I was like, oh, 
I should eat some more hot Cheetos. And so it was like a joke. Oh, so it was a joke. And so Josh was, and I'd always be like, Hash, hashtag hot Cheetos. Mine's the hair. <laughs> So it's a hot Cheetos kind of night. Josh, we miss you. We love you. I know you're here with us in spirit. Oh my God. This is going out to oh, you. Yesterday <laughs> was my birthday and my grandma's birthday. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, feliz, feliz cumpleaños. So, yeah, mm -hmm. such a great grandma. I, I was born on mm her -hmm. birthday. Everybody's always jealous because she. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Let's see. Mom loves oh, fishing. Her, don't cut me off. We got so everybody go go follow Catch a Fire. Those are our fucking homies. Like you guys don't even know until you know. You know what I'm saying? Chris, Pedro, we got motherfucking. Well, you know, uh, he actually. So my cousin is actually a Tejano. Wait, do you play Tejano? I'm not really sure. He is a drummer in San Antonio. Um, I got a couple musicians actually on my father's side that are really fucking badass. Drop the link to your band in the comments. Let's all go follow. The Cantu family musician vibe. Uh, oh, wow. He says he's supposed to be working on music and he's leaving. Sometime, tell us what you've been working on. Tell us some of what you're doing. Okay, so this is super top secret. Shh. So this is not leave this interview here. Okay, first of all, all you at home. It's been a long eight months. I, um, Mom's like, get pass me your cup. She's like, pass me your cup. <laughs> um, You're gonna be actually, talking about this past year. I need the cup, <laughs> right? I um, well, I have a band that is in the works. It's called Shorty and the Goat's Milk, and it's Shorty and the Goat's Milk. In the Goat's Milk, greatest of all time. What? Um, and I'm working with a bunch of musicians out of Austin, which if you guys know me, you know I'm from Texas. I lived in Austin for a long time. I worked at the Capital Area Food Bank because um, that's where it's, what it's all about, giving back to people that are in need. Um, I'm also in need, so give it back, people. I'm just joking. Um, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing are you guys releasing music or are you gonna be playing oh, out? We have, yeah so we have it's gonna be mostly studio stuff as you guys know it's super hard to do any kind of tour stuff so we're working remotely as soon as i can i'll get down to texas or possibly they'll come up to cali but our last trip was canceled one of my best friends amy happy 40th girl uh, her party was canceled because she got covid so that was when we were supposed to oh, Trigger word. Start up. Was that a trigger? <laughs> um, no, whatever, you guys. Um, that's what I'm doing. I've been working on that, and hopefully, you guys. in the goat's milk. She's been doing it. All right. I'm one, more, one more giveaway, and then we're going to start wrapping this up because we do have the latent bake. We have this great sticker that says base here. It's represented by Jesus. This could, be, this could be a trigger. Um, we have the guitars down here, the drums. Okay, where's the vocals? Oh, way back here, Ouija. Way back. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, hold way on. Hold on. I'm a bass player, though. That's my first instrument. <laughs> I feel like my buddy Joey Calderio needs this because his whole album is about like. <laughs> All right, you guys. So the first person that can tell me when my mom's birthday was wins this sticker. Easy one, you guys. Super easy. Um, it's been so much fun. I want to know what, when, uh, who knows the first song that Je uh, Neil Young ever uh, played? First played. song that Neil, Neil Young, Young ever, ever released. And we will give you, do we have things? Do we have more things to give away, Emma? We have a voice lesson. Did we not give uh, that away yet? No, and I want to know who, if anybody but, knows. Okay, okay. We so and we're doing that. If you want to win, hold on. If you want to win the lesson, the, the vocal lesson with Megan Richardson, we're wrapping it up, you guys. An hour of vocal coaching. An hour of vocal wow, coaching. I hope I win. Wait, mom, what was the question? The first song. The first Neil song Young. Neil Young released. Yeah, it was popular for. Oh, well, those are two different Okay, first, first, first album. First album, Neil Young release, you guys. Oh, I know this one. I'm not going to answer that. Wait, do you need a voice lesson? <laughs> <laughs> I do, actually. No, you don't. Like a month ago, he texted me and he was like, 
I'm trying to record this. Just send me some vocal warm ups real quick. <laughs> so it. I sent him like five minutes worth of half of it was shit I had sent to Jay, speak the rebel before. And then the other half was like stuff I made for him real quick to like do a quick vocal warm up. <laughs> it was so funny. All so, right, you guys. Anybody, anybody, anybody? Hold on, Ma. Okay, okay. No, hold I don't on. Good night, Jesse. We love you, girl. Thank you for hanging out, everybody. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank you for your support. They, hold on, Ma. Thank you all for hanging out with us. We are waiting on what is the first album that Neil Young released? And the first was, album Neil uh, Young released. We already went with album. Vocal lesson. And if you win and you feel like you won't benefit from the vocal lesson or whatever everyone can use a little vocal lesson but if you just like aren't there for it you could always donate it to someone <laughs> google it kaylin <laughs> or we can just hang out for an hour virtually i want to hang out with kaylin anyway I know we all want to hang out with Kaylin. Are you kidding me? Kaylin is the epitome of like best friend, but she lives so far away. Can I just drive to you? And it's like, not that far me? for me. I need to get over to Virginia for some shows. Me, I me love you. Kaylin so much. Kaylin, I love you so much. She's good vibes all across the world. All right, oh, yeah, Weege, what you gotta nice. say? What you gotta yeah, say to wrap it up? Love, love these. Uh, I'll be on California 420 and 421. Um, I can't say with who yet though, but I'll be in Sacramento and Santa Cruz just doing it solo. And nice. then, uh, aside from that, I'm doing a whole shit ton of songwriting. So if anybody ever needs instrumentals or producing, I team up with Mark LeBlanc down in so SoCo Sound Lab. Um, and we work out of his studio and I also team up with Blaine Dillinger a lot. So if you guys ever need help with putting music together, ring me along. Ring the alarm. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for, for, for all the stuff I'm working on with Megan, too. It's, uh, I, I sent her some, some unique shit, so <laughs> I'm excited some good she shit. Back. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead in the comments, and I'm going to put Weege's, um artist page in, on Spotify, so if you guys could all go give him a follow, and then I'm going to put my artist page from Spotify. If you guys could go give me a follow. That way you won't miss any releases and you'll get it going. It, it, when is, um, when are you going to have some artist stuff up for your new shindig, Sunshine? That is a great question. Hopefully in the next couple of months. I literally, this is like top secret. Shh, I've not told anybody about it. Um, so we'll just see how it all um, unfolds. Uh, Justin Altisbig has made the artwork for the cover. So I am excited about that. And hopefully I can share that with you guys soon. Um, but you know, me and Weege are starting our own band pretty soon. So yeah, I want in on that. <laughs> well, and I'm glad this is a perfect segue. Megan, will you join our band? <laughs> Absolutely. You know, I will do background vocals hey. for, and I'm a background vocal. Uh, you can take lead. I play guitar. Hey, we need a, we need a drummer, but he couldn't show up. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, drummer. Mark's too busy with P knuckle and he's got some technical. Uh, so, so, K, ah, Lynn, right? K Lynn. K Lynn. She says CSG mix. Is that the right answer? We need to know. Hey, you guys. So Neil Young's first song. I'm sorry. So not this long while we were asking for the album. Oh, no, I got the Neil button. Young's first I the, I album. It. Wait, can you write for the call? Article. Oh. The first album was. <laughs> Well, we're waiting for the answers. All right. Ooh, ooh, Hercules, Hercules. You guys, we're going to get wrapped up. We appreciate so you. Me, we appreciate you all so much. If you want something tonight, please send me your address so I can get it to you in the mail. We had a pair of custom socks that Jesse won. We have a pair of Lemmy socks that old Chris Luna won for his size 12 foot. Okay, that's important. We have this 
Oh, we yeah. haven't given away the shirt yet. New nurses do it better. What is the first album that Neil Young dropped, yo? Chris is. <laughs> I can't find it, y'all. Oh, no, we already gave that away. That was for the voice lesson. You guys, it's okay. It's a party. And uh, I love you all so much. We will wait for the answer. And maybe no, yeah. it'll come after the video. It'll come after. And also, we will do the swear jar count. And that will be going <laughs> to the Noel Foundation. Forget about me. $1 per square. I think that's so awesome. That's Fuck. 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 Winnie, thank you for joining us. Weege, thank you for joining us. Mark, you snooze, you lose, but we love you so much. Next time. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, next time we're going to make it happen. I love you guys. Um, on the count of three, let's say goodbye. One, two, three. Peace. Bye, babies. Bye. 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 Love y'all. Bless. <laughs>